Hi folks, for those of us that uh, still have 10 speed uh, drivetrains and uh, want to benefit from an extended range cassette, there is a few options in the market today. Uh, this is one of them, it is uh, the new Sunrace 1142 cassette. Again, this is a 10 speed. Uh, looking at the box, this is made in Taiwan. You can see the addresses here in uh, Taiwan, Europe, and USA. MX3 cassette, 10 speed, 1142. They also have uh, an all steel cassette. This has an aluminum 42 cut. This is uh, what's called a champagne color. They also have a black one that I couldn't get my hands on. I would have probably chosen that one if I could, but again, can't get it up here. Uh, packaging, nothing fancy. This is the locking ring, aluminum. And oh, yeah, there is some plastic involved. And this is uh, my 11 tooth. You have this uh, plastic tube that the cassette stays on. Side by side here with my good old uh, extended range cassette with one up and XD. So, locking ring. 11 13 this is where I have a 16 here they have a 15 and then what I have here on this carrier is my 19 uh, 21 and 24 I believe this one has one more loose cog which is their 18 and then the two aluminum carriers in this case, I have the extra aluminum carrier here and the loose extended cog. On the scale, again, this is the MX3 with the, the aluminum cog. Here is 388 grams. XT with one up, 387, so pretty much the same weight. Find your wider groove here and start installing it. One thing that I want to mention though is Every time you have loose cogs, like the one you see over here, you can install it either way. Uh, just make sure you install it with uh, the writing uh, facing up in this case. So see where here it says 18 teeth. Make sure you can see that once you install it. Other than that, it's just a simple cassette tool. 40 Newton meter specified here, like it is on all of them. Tighten this up and you're ready to try it out. As you can see, the shifting performance is actually good. It works just fine. I can't tell you that there is any difference between this one and the XT plus the one up. Shifting perfectly up and down the cogs. I can shift up uh, up to four gears, no problem. Shifting down is smooth. So all in all, good performance. Unfortunately, just like the 11 speed Shimano, Back paddling on the 42, look at that, it's about quarter to half a pedal stroke and the chain starts to come up. On the 36, things are fine. So you can back paddle on the 36 as much as you want. In comparison, no problem back paddling on the 1UP 42 as you can see it here. Mind you, this uh, 42 sprocket has seen a bit of use, so maybe in time the Sunrace cassette would uh, perform uh, similar. And in trying to understand the differences here, you can see this side is facing the spokes. So uh, you can see this slight angle that is on the teeth of the 1UP uh, 42 extended cog, which is kind of there on the Sunrace, Sunrace ones. But for some reason, one drops the chain and the other one doesn't drop the chain. Hope you guys found this useful. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And uh, until next time, thanks for watching.